Imagine using simple English to model complex video game environments or engineer a high precision machine part. That would be fascinating, right? Well, that's not the reality yet. However, let's talk about some of the things we can expect to happen in the near future. I'm gonna start with a disclaimer though. This video contains my point of view based on my understanding of where the technology is going. And as we all know, technology is rapidly changing. So whatever I say today can be invalid in some time. To start with, I'm going to acknowledge that 3D models at the end of the day can be broken into code. ChatGPT and other language models, on the other hand, can write code. So theoretically, ChatGPT can ultimately generate 3D models as well. In this video, I'll be touching on the different parts of the 3D modeling spectrum. Art on one end, engineering on the other, and product design somewhere in between. I'll be focusing most on the engineering part. But let me start with the arts. Art in 3D modeling cares most about the external shape of your models. In this, we're talking about things like video game assets or visual replication of a certain place. In those contexts, specific dimensions, mechanisms, and minor details might not hold significant value. On the other hand, engineering in 3D modeling involves precise constructs, which could be of an internal combustion engine or a piece of furniture. Here, every detail and every dimension, every mechanism and every step in building the model plays an important role. In between those two ends is product design or industrial design. This is where artistic creativity fuses with engineering precision to create consumer appealing products. AI will impact those areas in different ways. So let's talk about them. Starting with the arts. My projection is that AI will impact that area significantly. Picture this, instead of manually building or modifying a rock or a mountain in your game environment, you can use natural language to build those in no time. This is in a very similar manner to what image generation engines like Midjourney and Dali are already doing. A key feature of those recent AI models is the inherent randomness in output execution. This means running the same prompt multiple times can give you different outcomes. And in many art-based applications like making video game assets, randomness can be okay. However, this randomness might not sit well with engineering. Unlike art, engineers' perspective on 3D models is very different. Here, models must serve a function and be precisely detailed to be manufacturable. This makes the idea of typing design a car engine and getting a functioning design seems a far distance away. However, there are two main areas AI will enhance more in the near future. Some of those are already happening. The first is generative or assistive design. Here, the designer can provide certain parameters and the AI system can draft a design accordingly. For example, you need to design a frame for a crane, so you can provide the software with specifications like the size and anticipated stress level in different areas. Then, the software will produce a design adhering to those parameters. The second area is automation. In this, a designer can build a base model to be altered into various versions using natural language prompts. This will create a user-friendly experience for non-tech savvy individuals and enable mass customization at the same time. Let me shift to product design. Designers there will be benefiting from everything we mentioned earlier. In fact, Product designers can already use the existing image generation models like Midjourney and Dolly to generate quick design inspirations, 
or even generate orthogonal views that you can then trace using a 3D software. So how will all this impact you and me as product designers and engineers? There are two clear areas. First is efficiency. AI possibility to increase efficiency with assistive design and automation is extremely promising. The second is bridging the expertise gap. The growth of AI tools like assistive design alongside other technologies will enable designers and engineers with mid-level expertise to contribute more to areas formerly dominated by senior personnel. To end this, here are my final thoughts for myself and for you as a designer or an engineer. The development of AI tools started long time ago and will only become more prominent in the future. If you would like to start learning a 3D design tool like SolidWorks, it's still a good time. You can do that while keeping an eye on the evolving AI tools to give yourself an edge. For the former, our T4 Design School offers many learning programs with 3D modeling that you can check out. For the latter, subscribe to this channel where we will keep you informed about the latest development in the area. On that note, I want to handle the space back to you. Can you envision the future of AI with 3D modeling? What would that look like? I would love to hear your insights and thoughts in the comments.